Hello, and welcome to my second video. In this video I will try to explain the difference between scientific pantheism and scientific pandeism. I will make sure to not discredit any beliefs, but rather present an objective view of both. Both scientific pantheism and scientific pandeism are relatively unknown to the general population, but scientific pantheism is more well known. One of the largest pantheist organizations, the World Pantheist Movement is largely dedicated to scientific pantheism. Scientific pantheism is relatively new, and as such no concrete beliefs have been set by any organization, religious or otherwise. Perhaps we should first start with scientific pantheism. Scientific pantheism is also known as naturalist pantheism, impersonal pantheism and impersonal absolutism. According to Wikipedia, quote, naturalistic pantheism is a form of pantheism that holds that the universe, although unconscious and non-sentient as a whole, behaves as a single, interconnected, and solely natural substance. Accordingly, nature is seen as being what religions call God, only in a non-traditional impersonal sense, where the terms nature and God are synonymous, end quote. As such scientific pantheism is atheistic, and does not believe in the supernatural. Scientific pantheism does not conflict with any of the aforementioned statements. Scientific pantheism is a distinct form of pantheism, that incorporates aspects of atheism. It is the belief that everything and everyone in the universe is connected, but at the same time there is no god or deus, nor are there any supernatural element to the universe. This is based on scientific opinion, that everything was once condensed into a ball of matter, the premise for the scientific theory of the Big Bang. As such scientific pantheists believe everything came from one original source. They believe in the concept of pantheism without the concept of the deity itself. They are also naturalist in the sense that they believe that there are no supernatural element in and or transcending the universe. So, what's the difference? In reality they're very similar, and both schools of thought have reached similar conclusions on many matters. Both believe that there are no deities, nor are there any supernatural element in the universe. The difference is basically their conclusions. Scientific pantheism has reached the conclusion that nature is a replacement for what many religions call God. Scientific pantheism has reached the conclusion that everything and everyone in the universe is connected. In the end scientific pantheism and scientific pantheism are not mutually exclusive. One could technically be both a scientific pantheist and scientific pantheist. Thank you for listening. For more information please contact me. The Scientific Pandeist